Welcome to how to sort data with AL. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the classic computer science disciplines is to sort data. And there is, you know, this whole world of sorting algorithms and how to do this uh, the best way. Um, and, and with AL, we could get into a situation where we would, you know, Maybe we want to implement a quick sort or something like that um, in AL, but most of the time we don't really need to. And there's there's a few things that will help us on the way. Uh, and let's take a look at that. Um, so I have, as usual, started a new extension here just by going with the AL go command and um, we're off to the races. Um, and and let's talk about what can what do you get out of AL? Um, so one of the the classic examples is that we have you know we have our we have a list you know a list of list of what list of um, dates perhaps. Um, so we can say list add and then we'll add zero zero on. Oh, hang on, twenty twenty three oh one one D. That's the date, and I can add another one. Uh, twenty twenty two oh one one D, and I'll add another one. Twenty twenty four oh one one D. So that that's a list. So I can actually let if we do. Ay, caramba. It's one of those days. Now let's create a, a for each D in L do message D. So now we'll just loop through the list and uh, maybe we need to be format that better. So let's see what that, that will give us. I'll hit a five to run the um, Extension, deploy the extension. I have to log in. How rude. Uh -huh. <laughs> come on, come on there. So 23, 22, 24. So that is clearly exactly. So a list has the order of. Um, of the way we, we populated the list. And I don't have a L dot order by, so I can't really do anything here that is, uh, I can reverse it, that doesn't really help. So there's, there's nothing useful I can do with this list unless I go implement my own sorting function uh, on the sort, which or on the list, which I could. So so lists are kind of hard to use for sorting purposes. What about dictionaries? So let's try to um, change this a bit. So now L is going to be a dictionary. So let's do a dictionary of, and then we need to have a date and a boolean. How about that? I say true, so now I'm just populating kind of the same three in, three entrance entries, uh, but now you see, now I can't do this anymore. But what if I get keys? So now I can get the keys of the list. So now I have the keys of dictionary is a list. Sorry, not the the keys of the dictionary is a list. So so. Right now, we can ask to get a list of these. Um, and we can see what we get. Twenty-three, twenty-two, two, twenty-four. So that is still clearly not uh, usable. Uh, and the order of and indexed the 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 indexing piece in dictionary is is not a it's not guaranteed to be either the order happened to be the one we put in but it might as well be a totally totally different one i was actually thinking while i hit a five 
huh, how am I going to explain this if it's actually turned out this is sorted by date? Because behind the scene, this is implemented with a, a with a hash list, so it's just kind of a a, a thing that ensure uh, uniqueness. Um, so list and dictionaries are great, but but there is no way we can sort this. But we do because we have a database and we can sort. And and uh, so let's actually get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, um, and, and let me show you what even Microsoft are doing. So let's say that I do say sorting here and then I say record and I type in sorting. There is a table called sorting table that Microsoft themselves are using for those little graphs that, that are shown. Uh, and we can see that this is a this is a list of some, yeah, this is a table. Uh, has an integer, a decimal, and a code. And it has a key for integer, a key for decimal, and a key for code. Uh, and then some some stuff that is very specific to uh, to the charts, but but you know we can just we can just ignore that. We don't need that. Not where we're going. So um, so what if I do sorting dot in it, and then I do sorting dot integer equal one. Sorting dot. What was the other fields? Oh, I forgot. Sorting dot code. In this case, it's just. Okay, so I'll do. Uh, I'll do. Eric. So and then I'll do sorting dot insert. So I'm inserting into the temporary table. Um, and let's just replicate this a couple of times. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so number two will be Annika. And number three will be Benny. And number four will be Peter. How about that? That's clearly a table. So if we do a if sorting.find set, then repeat until sorting dot next equals zero and we'll do message sorting dot code so now we should get one two three four maybe we should, let's do like this uh how about we do oh wow Sorting dot integer. Boom. Let's run this thing. Let's see if we are lucky. So Eric, one, two, three, four. Exactly what we anticipated because that's kind of what we put in. But what if we now say sorting dot set current key? code Annika Benny Eric and Peter boom now it's sorted by code so now we got sorting and um, let, let's try it. so so you see this this table is is built with that purpose um, but but what if what if we wanted to do this with dates well we could easily create I'm just gonna break every rule because then I get all the comments saying Eric you're breaking all the rules uh, so let's create a table here uh, my sorting table um, and I will do so table type so this is a temporary table so I never want this to actually be in the database fields um, and field one I could do with the integer again integer 
Uh, that's kind of okay. Field two. Let's go back to the date, right? So field two is date, date. Field three is, how about date time? I don't really need it. I don't think I'm just going to do one. Uh, so keys, I don't know, key, primary key is integer. Um, the cluster setting is something you set for only for SQL. So, so in a temporary table, I have, I'm pretty sure it has no effect on a temporary table. Uh, key, let's call it date key that has date and key date time key is date time. So now we have our own sorting table. So I could, instead of going with Microsoft, I could go with my own. So now we have to insert a date instead. So 2023 or 101, let's see what was the, the thing we did. Let me just copy this one. Goodbye, Annika. Goodbye, Benny. Goodbye, Peter. So 23, 22, 21, 20. Let's just do the opposite order. And then I would like this to be sorted by date here now. And then we put in the date. Let's try to run this again. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-three. Boom. So now we created our own sorting uh, functionality just by defining a table that would sort what we need to sort. Um, and quite often you can actually use this. Uh, you don't need a new table. Quite often. The, the idea of if there's something specific you want to sort, either you just sort because you have the data already, or you build up a trim, temporary version of um, a table you already know. Uh, like grab the customer table, populate it with the customers that you need to be sorted if this is not definable by a filter. Of course, if it's definable by a filter, you... Um, you, you apply the filter and, and sort. Okay, but let's try one more thing. Let's get rid of this thing. So now we we are, we don't have a key to help us sort. What happens? Let's run it as this again. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw twenty-three. So even though we don't have specified a key, the sorting still happened uh, here. So set current key is is very helpful, uh, but depending on depending on the amount of data you need to sort, uh, you might want the key to to allow the in memory uh, table to actually create a, a an, an index of that data uh, also depending on you know what kind of operations you're you're doing um, but and 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 now I'll I'll get you know get comments below from uh, from from the old nav uh, people saying hey but hang on Eric we have done this this is not news we have done this for years you have but a lot of people come have come into the channel from from elsewhere and uh, they never did it this way they they used to be able to you know uh, in C sharps have a have a list of something and ask to it to be sorted and and .NET would sort it for you but we don't have that so this is kind of how we sort data in PL and um, by the way if you're an old timer or a new timer or any any timer I don't know that's a weird word anyway I hope you uh, would consider subscribing to the channel because then you will get notified about videos like this one here. Go check that one out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.